Hi, welcome back to my channel, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create paper cutout effect in Photoshop. And, there is a bonus as well, that I will also show you how to do paper cutout effect with text as well. Start by unlocking your background layer and then right click and choose convert to smart object. Then go to filter, render, and then clouds. Then go to filter again, then choose blur and then Gaussian blur. Keep the radius around 45. Then go to image, then choose adjustments, and then posterize. Keep on increasing the levels, and stop at the point where you like it. Next step is optional, but you can double click on the clouds to change the contour and then choose the one that you like. Then go to select and then color range. Select should be sampled colors. And fuzziness should be zero. First sample, the most darkest color. In my opinion, that's the most darkest color. Now press Ctrl plus J. Then, add a group. Then click and drag your layer 1 inside the group. Then go to Adjustment Layer icon, then choose Solid Color. Choose any color, since this is not our final color, so it doesn't really matter, and we have to delete this later. Then, put the solid color adjustment layer on the top of the group. Then, right click on the layer and choose Create Clipping Mask. Then select your layer 0. And then go to Select, then choose Color Range. Then sample another dark color, and if that color is in that image, accept the one that you clicked on, so it automatically select that too. Now press Ctrl plus J. Then, just delete your solid color adjustment layer. Turn off the layer visibility of bottom layer.
Select your layer 1. Then hold shift and click on the bottom layer to select all layers. Then go to image, then arrange, and then choose reverse. Then select your first layer, then right click, and then choose blending options. Then choose drop shadow, and you can see the next settings on the screen. Right click on the layer and choose copy layer style. Hold shift to select multiple layers. Then right click any of the layer and choose paste layer style. Here is this website that has beautiful color templates and color combinations, I will give the link in the description so you can go and check it out. Then, just drag and drop your favorite color template. And put it on the top of the group. Open the layer effects of your top layer. Then double click on the color overlay. Then click on that color box and sample the color from the color template. And repeat the same process. Then, just delete your color template layer. Now, I will show you how to add text. So for that, go to adjustment layer icon, and then choose solid color. Choose any color, because it doesn't really matter, and we can change it later. Then, select your typing tool, and type your text. Hold Ctrl to change size. Then, right-click on the text layer and choose Blending Options. And, you can see the next settings on the screen.
hold control to select both layers and then add a group. Now, you can easily change the background color. Then, right-click on the text layer and choose Blending Options. And, you can see the next settings on the screen. Stroke is optional, but you can add it if you want to. And one more thing, that you can change the text right now as well, by double-clicking on the thumbnail of the text layer. I hope, that you would have liked this video, and if you did, please subscribe to my channel, and like this video.